AI use within the customer support experience can add value, growth, and revenue to an organization. AI platform Support Logic monitors all post sales customer interactions to predict and prevent escalations before they happen and protect revenue. Earlier, I spoke to founder and CEO of Support Logic, Krishna Raj Raja, and Dilip Kumar, global head of technology solutions at NTT Data, a Support Logic customer. Krishna, Support Logic was founded due to a gap you identified in the market. Can you tell us more about that, please? When I was a support engineer, when I was interacting with customers, I was dealing with unhappy customers all day long, right? The thing I've learned from those interactions is that every customer interaction has valuable signals that are useful, not just for the support organization, for it, but for the broader company. I literally would run building to building uh, taking the signals we found in support and talking to the product teams and the engineering teams, the customer success teams, the execs in the company, say, hey, this is what our customers are telling us. You really need to listen to the voice of the customer. The challenge I found was a lot of the signals were dropped on the floor. Uh, because today when we are using a ticketing system, all companies have systems of record. The systems of record is really good at storing this information, and capturing the customer information, but it's really bad at extracting signals from those interactions and providing recommendations. So the core idea of support logic is what if you convert all your existing systems of record into systems of intelligence by continuously monitoring the interactions you're having with your customers, extracting signals from them, maintaining context. So that's what we fundamentally provide at support logic. As businesses look to the current opportunities and the risks of AI, how can they leverage AI to monitor customer signals and improve the overall customer experience? I'm actually writing a book about this. The book is called Support Experience, How Innovative Companies Are Using AI to Win the Hearts and the Minds and Wallets of Customers. And in that book, I'm talking about lots of case studies where companies are leveraging AI to fundamentally transform support organizations into a revenue center and not treat them as cost center. And the key, key idea there is that from harnessing the signals from the support interactions, extracting the signals and providing the right insight and information to the right teams within the, your organization, you're fundamentally changing your support from a reactive uh, organization into a proactive organization. Uh, Dilip, what made you seek out an AI platform to improve customer experience at NTT? So if you look at the two worlds, the past and the current, in the old world, services was predominantly focused on keeping the lights on, keeping the technology available. And as it is evolving with new technologies, we see the services are now more responsible or more accountable for driving the outcomes for our business. At NTT, data, we are building a Gen AI and digital enterprise. With our technology solutions business today, we are supporting over 7,000 clients, over 2 million assets, over 60 to 100,000 tickets a year. This is complex. And what we are using is some of the latest technologies. We're also embedding AI into our products to make sure that we are enhancing the processes. We are transforming the value streams, again to make sure that we are moving from a product focus to an outcome focus. Then AI for our customers, in our operations, we are embedding AI with our employees to ensure that we are able to do th things faster, easier, and better. Krishna, how does Support Logic SX monitor and respond to customer signals? So the fundamental technology that we're using is natural language processing. We're using large language models, specifically. And we basically plug into your existing interaction points with your customers. We monitor those interactions and continuously extracting signals. And the signals such as frustration, confusion, impatience, production issues, so on and so forth. Then we maintain context of the signals across conversational boundaries. So for every interaction, we keep a running sentiment score. We keep a running attention score that at any point in time, without having to run a survey, you will know how the customer is feeling. Right? Typically, we get a survey after the interaction has ended. It's too late. But this one monitors the customer sentiment at real time and gives you early warning and early indications that this particular customer communication is not going well. 
you may want to intervene and react to the customer very differently. So it provides recommendations as well. We also monitor outgoing conversations. Do all of these employees of your organizations, do they have the right soft skills to interact with your customers? It really is transformational, isn't it? Uh, Deb, how is NTT working with Support Logic to help retain and improve the experience for customers? We have a lot of data because we've been supporting over 7,000 clients over the last many, many, many years. So we use our data and then we make a choice between build, buy or partner. So what we have done in the current case with Support Logic is to embed the AI quality assistant back into our systems. That will then help us to make sure that we are driving the change, making it more human centric, making it more safe, making it more reliable for our clients then to consume the technology at the same time, help them improve the experience as we deliver the services. Krishna, last question, big question. What does the future hold for Support Logic? All of this is tip of the iceberg. The technology can be embedded in pretty much every interaction, not just with support. And that's where we are going as a company. We basically want to build a central nervous system for organizations and provide this continuous intelligence to organizations, turning them into a truly customer-centric organization. Fascinating talking to both Krishna and Dilip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.